Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of On the Glass. I am your host, Brandon Abels, and before we get started into tonight's video, I would like to give a few shout outs. Number one, to my buddy Jagginoff. He's got a YouTube channel here. You should look him up. Jag in off. Look him up. Thanks for the shout out, man. I greatly appreciate it. If you're in the market for some new sunglasses, be sure to check out shadyrace.com. Quality, affordable sunglasses, free lifetime, break them, lose them, warranty. Just contact Shady Rays and they will get in contact with you and send you a new pair. All you gotta do is pay for shipping and handling. And also, if you're in the market for some new sports gear, if you're a Jacksonville Jaguar fan, be sure to check out my friends at Sportsmania. They are located in Jacksonville Beach, and you can also find them online at sportsmania.com. Now, on to the video. As I stated in our last video, regarding Yannick and Dockway's contract, I'm about sick and tired a bad news coming out of Jacksonville, Florida. And lo and behold, a few hours ago, we got some more bad news coming out of Jacksonville. And uh, we're gonna talk about that tonight. If you didn't see it, Adam Scheffner is reporting that the Jacksonville Jaguars are gonna trade cornerback A.J. Boye to Denver for a fourth round selection in this year's NFL draft. So, out of that amazing secondary that we had in 2017, talking about A.J. Boye, Jalen Ramsey, uh, Barry Church, Tashawn Gibson, um, and who am I missing? And, um, oh, Aaron Colvin. All of them are now gone from the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars picked Col um Boye up a few years ago and he was an instrumental part of our run to the AFC Championship game where we should have went to the Super Bowl. Um, he was the number two corner alongside of Jalen Ramsey and together in the 2017 season those two were absolutely amazing, absolutely unstoppable. Hardly anybody could throw the ball on the Jaguars. Hardly anybody could run the ball against the Jaguars. That defense as a whole was amazing. You had great guys up front, and then the secondary, like I said, was absolutely amazing. People are saying that Boye's production fell off. Well, look, in 2018, alongside Ramsey again, I think he had an outstanding year. In 2018, the problem was we were not getting enough pressure on the quarterback for whatever reason, and uh, that showed and it was allowing receivers to run great routes and uh, go into scramble mode and beat our corners, and it showed in the 2018 season. Last year, after the Jalen Ramsey trade, A.J. Boye was uh, thrust into the number one spot for corners, and his production wasn't what it was previously, but he still had a pretty decent season. Look, Say what you want, but A.J. Boye is a good cornerback in the NFL. That is a very, very difficult position to play. It's a cat and mouse game, and oftentimes the corners are at a great disadvantage, guys. Come on. Uh, the receivers know what route they're running, know where they're supposed to go, and the corners have to mirror every step that they take so they don't get beat. It's a very difficult position to play. And now, A.J. Boye is still a very good cornerback in the NFL. Is he all pro status? Is he pro bowl status? Probably not, but possibly. He could have an amazing year this coming season and show us all that the Jaguars were wrong for letting him go, which I think is a strong possibility of happening. The Jaguars now... Again, again, with Yannick and Dockway leaving and A.J. Boye leaving, there's reports coming out that they're interested in shopping Campbell and Linder and Norwell. 
the Jaguars appear to be an all-out rebuild mode. And to me, as a lifelong Jacksonville Jaguar fan, that is very disheartening and very sad to see. Over the last 10 to 15 years, it seems like the Jacksonville Jaguars have been in rebuild mode every single season, 2017 notwithstanding. The Jaguars are once again putting themselves in a position where they're going to have to draft to be competitive. All that stuff came out towards the end of last season from the Players Association telling players not to go to Jacksonville, that it was a bad environment. We're not going to lure any top free agents in, into Jacksonville based on that report and the fact that we don't have a lot of money to spend. We're just not. It's not going to happen. So we're going to be relying upon rookies and first and second year players in order to be a competitive team. And I don't know if you watch the NFL on a consistent basis or not, but to me, it seems like in order to win in the NFL, you have to have veteran leadership in the NFL. And if they unload Campbell, talking about the Jaguars, if they unload Calais Campbell, what veteran leadership is going to be there? Miles Jack? Miles Jack, the guy that's playing out of position by playing middle linebacker instead of outside linebacker where he belongs. I, look, it's very, very sad and very, very difficult right now with everything going on to be a fan of the Jacksonville Jaguars. You can agree with me, you can disagree with me, but that is, in my mind, a cold, hard fact. It is very difficult to be a Jaguars fan right now. There is glaring, glaring needs that needs to be addressed both in free agency, but we just addressed the fact that big name free agents are not gonna to come to Jacksonville right now through free agency and the NFL draft. Luckily, with this trade of Boye, we now have 10 selections in this year's NFL draft. Two in the first round. I'm not gonna go into what I think should be done in the draft this season in this video, but there are glaring, glaring needs for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And by trading Boye tonight, you have created another one at cornerback. That's not saying that we should not have drafted a cornerback before now, but most definitely a cornerback should be at the top of priorities in the upcoming NFL draft. It seems like every time we turn around, every time we look at our phones, every time we look at the Jaguar Facebook pages, there's, there's more news coming out that in my opinion is more hurtful to the team than it is helpful. Yes, this Boye trade gives us an extra draft pick, but it's a fourth round draft pick. And I believe Boye was better than that. And it does clear up some cap space. He has two years remaining on his deal, but still you're leaving a glaring hole in the defense. A defense that three seasons ago was the cream of the crop, the envy of the NFL. And now here we are. Five instrumental pieces to that defense is now gone. Seven, if you want to include Malik Jackson and um, uh, Puzlesny. Seven pieces out of 11 are gone from that defense. And I see people in Facebook groups and all that kind of thing talking about needing to draft a wide receiver. What for? You have a dynamic wide receiver crew right now. You got DJ Chark, DD Westbrook, Chris Conley, Keelan Cole. Four very good receivers in the NFL. Four very good receivers. Receiver is not a point of need based on other things that the, the, the Jacksonville Jaguars absolutely have to address in the upcoming NFL draft. AJ Boye, thank you for your time in Jacksonville. It was a pleasure watching you play, sir. It was an absolute pleasure watching you put on the till and black. And uh, I wish you good luck in Denver and the rest of your career. Uh, but thank you.
for time well served in Jacksonville. Uh, I will always keep your game use jersey that I have, and I wish you luck, like I said. Again, though, guys, agree with me, disagree with me, whatever the case may be, hit those comments below. If you have not already, please, we are on the road to 50 subscribers. Hit that big red subscribe button. Subscribe to me. We talk about the Jaguars a lot here, but we also talk about other sports as well. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you're in the market for new sunglasses, be sure to check out my friends at Shady Rays. Quality, affordable, polarized shades. All you got to do is ShadyRays.com. Check them out. If you ever lose a pair of Shady Rays, if you ever break a pair of Shady Rays, just call them up, email them, whatever the case may be. Tell them what happened. You pay for the shipping and Shady Rays sends you a pair right back to you. And it's quick shipping time. And they are USA owned, baby. If you're in the market for some new Jaguars gear or sports gear in general, be sure to check out my Sports Mania friends. Sports Mania is located in Jacksonville Beach. Every time I'm in Jacksonville, I swing by there and pick me up something new. They are also online at sportsmania.com. Be sure to check out my fellow Jaguar YouTubers. Jagging Off, J-A-G-I-N-O-F-F, -F, Jagging Off. Be sure to check him out. Also, be sure to sure to check out my friend UCF Jaguar. Be sure to check those guys out. If you want to get in contact with, contact with me, onTheGlass34 at gmail.com, onTheGlass34 at gmail.com. Questions, comments, concerns, whatever the case may be, hit me up on email. You can find me on Twitter at BigTicketAble, and you can also find On The Glass on Facebook. But for now, this has been another episode of On The Glass. Hopefully, we don't have to break any more bad jag Jaguar news in the next couple of days, but I won't hold my breath. And this has been another episode of On The Glass, and we'll see you next time.